Hi everyone, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for all signs of the zodiac. This is for the week commencing on the 9th of December 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly appreciate it. For those of you that were interested in the uh, Pluto conjunct Saturn webinar, I will place the link below. Uh, you can purchase that webinar there. It's going to be pretty lengthy and there's going to be a lot of information. So just letting you know that right now. Okay, that will commence on December 29th. Okay, that is when it will take place. Uh, also, for those of you that would like to like, share, and subscribe, I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that do uh, subscribe to my channel, please make sure you are clicking on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. You may also want to bookmark this location as well. Okay, for those of you interested in a personal reading with me, I did post openings for March. I am completely booked um, up until March. So uh, I'm pretty much taking almost all of February off and the end of January. If you are currently booked with me, don't worry. Your reading is safe. I'm not going to turn around and refund and cancel. Uh, for those of you that have been contacting me via email, I will be answering those probably later today or perhaps uh, by Monday or Tuesday, you will hear back from me. Now, the other thing going on, I've got a lot of videos that I've got to get posted. So I'm going to be posting the weekly, then I will post the Psychic Astro Extended for my members, and then we have the Gemini Full Moon video that is coming out as well. So please be prepared for that. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. And one thing that I need to confirm with everybody, remember last week I said watch out for knives and sharp things and all of that? Well, guess who, guess who got that one? That was me. I was doing... Um, I was uh, fixing a dinner for my uh, book club and we were reading a book from the colonial times and I was doing a colonial dinner and that colonial dinner required the dessert was apple tansy and that requires the apples to be sliced very, very, very thin. So I was using a mandolin and um, I couldn't find the topper to hold on to the fruit. So I was doing this number and boom, I literally sliced right through here. Man, there was a lot of blood. Anyway, don't worry, nobody was served any blood or anything like that. But um, yeah, it was, it hurt and it literally delayed me like half an hour just to get the bleeding to stop. So anyway, confirm that is what happened to me. But we are going to get right into the reading, ladies and gentlemen. All right. December 10th of 2019, Mercury in Sagittarius trines Chiron retrograde in Aries at one degree. On or around this day, expect great healing regarding anything that was just recently started. Perhaps up to about a week ago, something had to be revisited and cleared up. If this was done successfully, great reward awaits in the realm of healing of the self. There is also a level of healing as it relates to contracts or negotiations. Expect new agreements to be reached and finalized. This will be announced broadly. This energy may also have something to do with an apology that someone owes someone else because of their poor attention to detail. They will be regretful internally and it is best they own up to it. Likely it will be forgiven but it will leave a mark that will not be forgotten easily. If they do not own up to it then, it will create an energy of karmic debt. Now guys, just letting you know, I wrote this on Wednesday. So from Wednesday on, I was pulling in these psychic downloads. So some of you may have already been through this or you're about to go through it. So remember, this is on or around the day. Sometimes when we've got these these lasting energies where they they literally are in aspect for three to five days, <clears throat> you are definitely going to see it. Prior to the uh, time frame announced, it just means that they're exact on that particular day. On December 11th of 2019, Venus and Capricorn conjunct Saturn and Capricorn at 19 degrees. On or around this day, expect a possible commitment to a loving union. This is not just any commitment. This is for the long haul. 
Someone may be sharing their feelings with a friend or a coworker that they have found their dream person. I just can't stop thinking about him or her. I feel so welcomed and understood when I am with them. You get the picture. For others, this is a big commitment to status or career, but they are not without challenges. There may also be restrictions or rules that need to be discussed and respected. Okay, then as all of you know, we do have that full moon in Gemini on December 12th, and you can watch the full moon video when I get that posted. Now for December 13th of 2019, Mars in Scorpio trines Neptune in Pisces at 16 degrees and Venus in Capricorn conjuncts Pluto in Capricorn at 21 degrees. On or around this day, expect great passion and for some, obsession will be present. I am feeling a lot of theater or theatrics around this day. It feels very much like telling a child they have to eat a little bit of something they don't like to get something they do like they end up having a massive meltdown, temper tantrums. No, I don't wanna, you're killing me. You know, sometimes when you ask your child to do something and they lit you, you would literally think that you have got, you know, you're doing something very, you know, nasty to them just because they're not getting their way. This is what's going on. This is like a child having that temper tantrum in the middle of the floor, literally saying, you know, you hate me, you don't like me anymore, just because you're not getting them a popsicle. All right, so something like that. Now this could be on a larger stage. This could be where some type of information comes out where a group of people or a person in general really takes it overboard and the drama is just through the roof. You know, just say, oh, let them have their time. Let them work it out in their mind. Eventually, they'll come to rationality eventually. Okay, so, however, for others, it feels as though someone is going to go to the emotional depths with someone else and this will truly transform a union in business or love. Now remember, when we have these energies, we're always gonna have the positive and the negative depending upon how it aspects your natal chart. Some of these people are gonna bring this energy in with drama and theatrics. Other people are gonna bring this energy in to transform a union in business or love by going deeply into the depths of the soul. Some Scorpios, Pisces may try and get their way through theatrics or false fronts, which is acting. Instead of being met by, I am sorry, or what can I do to help? They are being met by, cry me a river, I am not budging. Or worse yet, cry me a river and I will make your life worse. Something may be ending because there is a new sheriff in town or there was. You snooze, you lose, you lie, you fry. However, for others, there is a brother in arms, a sister in arms type of energy. It is an energy of making sense out of chaos. So if you're gonna be over dramatic um, right around December 13th, you will not receive any sympathy at all because people are just tired of the complaining, the drama, the theatrics, get the job done, get back to work, buck up buttercup, move forward. That is what is going on here. December 15th, 2019, Jupiter in Capricorn trines Uranus retrograde in Taurus at two degrees. On or around this day, great abundance in money and status is felt through a realization of needing to change from the inside out. Someone may be surprised when they discover that the answer was within them the whole time. This is very Dorothy's ruby red slippers type of moment. Perhaps something about red shoes or slippers may be coming up as well. Literally, Glenda the Good Witch points out the simple solution. It is a great, now you tell me, moment. However, understand that the journey had to be taken. If not, perhaps another tornado, another day, in another land. Politics is playing a large role around this time as well. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the tarot card reading. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get into this upcoming week for December 9th. Spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, please surround us now and please provide us with information to serve our highest good as we move on. I literally just threw a bunch of cards. We're taking them. All right. That was the Rider White deck. <laughs> oh, what have we got? Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Let me get myself scooched back in here. All right. So the first card for this upcoming week is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a Sagittarius Leo or an Aries person. This person wants a new beginning. This person wants to start something. This person wants to move forward in a situation. They're, they've got ants in their pants for some reason. Something might be going on regarding somebody's pants. I don't know. Um, maybe you get a tear in the pants or maybe something about the pants doesn't fit right or maybe you're getting your pants hemmed or maybe you're getting fitted for a set of pants for whatever reason. But anyway, as it relates to this, I just saw the military. Dress. Yeah, military dress. Like when I was in the Air Force, it was dress blues but there's something about military dress coming up here. I don't know what that means for some of you out there, but it might mean something. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. So we also, as all of you know, we have this little chameleon down here. And this is basically, or a lizard, whatever. It's, 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 um, it's represented, uh, repre representing fire. Okay, so this is that fire energy, the dragon energy. So dragon energy might be around some of us in this upcoming week, or there's a level of some sort of a dragon energy in whatever way that makes sense for some of you out there. Maybe some of you out there are um, a dragon in the Chinese uh, horoscopes. Maybe you're a dragon and you are in a situation right now in this upcoming week of a center of attention for whatever reason. So this could certainly be coming up here. Just remember, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person might hold great significance for you in this upcoming week for whatever reason. Now that I put this down here, um, there is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius person that is looking back to the past or wants to go back to someplace they came from. So that is also coming up here as well. I really feel an energy of observing the theatrics. Remember how I brought up theatrics? There's, what is up with this hair? There is something going on regarding um, theatrics in this upcoming week and somebody's just watching it from afar and they're looking at it going, wow. You know, it's almost as though Someone is in a place of safety. So someone is in someone is in a position or in an environment where they are safe from some sort of big event that is happening in another location. So they're observing it from afar and they're like, whoa, dude, seriously? So that that is the type of energy I'm picking up here. I, I really don't know how else. Um, to push that forward or translate that. Anyway, let's continue. The second card we have is the Four of Swords. So something might be happening here relative to taking a break from something or needing to get your rest, needing to be prepared for an event that's coming up here in this upcoming week so that you need to kind of you know, garner your strength regarding something, garner your strength regarding um, maybe letting go of the past once and for all for some of you out there. There could have been a third party situation or an interference and the truth was revealed and now somebody is recovering from that particular situation. Absolutely. And there is a lot of that stuff going on in politics. Um, for a lot of you out there, I mean, you just need to follow it. Uh, for example, things are really starting to kind of, what I want to say, maybe backfire or or boomerang back. Um, like, for example, um, I'm just going to say it um, because it, it happened. So basically, Ukrainian um, investigators are, are looking into corruption 
And literally in a research document that these prosecutors were doing for indicting the president of Burisma, they actually found a massive shell or pyramid scheme having to do with um, Hunter Biden and uh, four other people here in the U.S. that are um, considered, you know, in politics or their children um, as well. Okay, so political people whose children benefited from this corruption scheme, basically stealing um, taxpayers' dollars from the U.S. in some way, shape, or form. So I would definitely keep an eye out for that. But there is some level of truth coming up here, and I really feel that we're going to start seeing people just kind of disappear because um, they're in trouble, okay? They're just in trouble. So, um, and just be aware that this information will be hidden from people um, because they, there's, there are groups of people that want to maintain a level of control in the world. And so I'm just giving you that as an example because it's on both sides of the aisle. Again, guys, remember, this isn't about this side versus that side. This is about truth, justice, and liberty, okay? This is what's coming up here. It doesn't matter where you're from or whatever. Everybody should be held to the same, you know, um, the same accountability. Everybody should have the same accountability if they break the law or if they steal or if they're corrupted or whatever. And I really feel that that energy is probably a lot of that energy we're going to start feeling right around that January 12th time frame. I don't know why I brought up politics. Normally, I try not to. But the thing about it is, is I pull in collective consciousness energy. And when that happens, and this is all that's out there in the media, I'm going to pull it in. So if you've got a problem with this, then I need to let everybody know that I pull in what's out there. Okay, if I have to say it, I have to say it. Okay, this is on the minds of a lot of people right now. People are making major decisions about this. And if if you want something uh, just a little bit more foo-foo or maybe a little bit more ethereal type of a reading, um, there are plenty of awesome readers here on YouTube to go find them. Um, I am all about the practical energy that is happening right now. So I just want to let all of you know that is what I do. But there is a need for someone to take a step back and find out what their next step is going to be in order to fix something in the past or to escape something from their past. Okay, so just because I brought politics up does not mean that this is not happening on a level in your own life. All right, so this is going to make sense for some of you. So what is our third card for this upcoming week? The Fool, absolutely. So the Fool here is saying to me, someone was really foolish. Somebody did something they shouldn't have done. Someone did something or said something they shouldn't have said. People's true colors are coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how else to make this any clearer for people out there, okay? Some true colors are coming out to show that, you know, people are truly genuine and they truly care and they truly love people, okay? For others out there, there's energy out there that's coming out where they may have said that they love people. They may have said that they're all for one for, you know, all for one and one for all. They may have said that, oh, I am a peacemaker. And it turns out that they're the ones causing the drama and the separation. Ladies and gentlemen, just think about that for a minute. There is also something going on here regarding um, needing to get away just for a weekend, just for a little a little while, um, maybe a week, like I said, a weekend, three, four days, not a long vacation, but somebody has got to go back to someone else to fix something in the past. There needs to be a level of revisiting something and getting it cleared up. The difference here is that for some people, they're taking accountability and they are, um, they're aware of what they did. Maybe they were a little bit foolish. Maybe they weren't paying attention or whatever. And now somebody has to go back and recalibrate something or reestablish something with someone else. Okay. In other cases, 
these are where they had the opportunity to reestablish or recalibrate with somebody else. But what has happened is instead of actually owning up to the situation, they have decided to, you know, keep it like, you know, uh, swept under the rug or swept under the carpet. And because of that, now they're reaping karma. It's as though we have this fool that is looking back on the Four of Swords and the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is already looking back into the past. So there's something about needing to go back to the past in order to move forward. All right. So that's what's coming up for some of you. The four, oh, look at that. Okay. So the fourth card we have is the Six of Wands. So for some people out there, you did go back to the past. You did take accountability. You did recalibrate something. You did fix it. And now you are moving forward successfully. For others out there who did not fix it successfully or take accountability for what happened in their past, there is a group of other people who are moving away from you now. And this, this is how I am seeing this. Let me put the cards up here. If you can see it. All right, so we've got the four cards. Look at this. So you have the fool who's looking back on the betrayal and everything, wanting to hide away, not wanting to be part of it anymore. For example, like everybody's getting you know, either indicted or in trouble or implicated in all of these investigations going on with like Epstein and, and um, you know, the politics and everything, you're seeing that they're saying, I'm, I'm not coming back. I'm going to retire. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore. Why? Are you implicated? Are you implicated or is there information that's going to be coming out about you? Okay. Like, for example, there's like eight Republicans that are just not going to be back, okay? And some Democrats that are not going to be back. Remember what I said. This is entirely bipartisan. This has nothing to do with partisan politics or identity politics. This is about right versus wrong, period, the end. Justice, all right? It's, it's coming, okay? And then you've got this king of wands, at least in the U.S. and probably everywhere else as well. Then you've got this king of wands that's looking back to the past, and then you've got the six of wands saying, I'm out of this mess. I'm not going to be part of this anymore. See where I'm going with that? Okay. 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 So if it is not related to politics, let's just be real here. Um, this could be where there is a fire sign Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person who's looking back on the past regarding something they did. They're turning their back on someone who that who has left them or someone who has, um, you know, basically been foolish in their presence. Okay, they have done something foolish. They have done something dumb. And for some reason, it's like this fire sign was really interested in this person in the past. Maybe perhaps this was the third party. Okay, so maybe perhaps for some fire signs out there, they got, um, there was a third party situation where there was um, possibly this fire sign was seeing somebody and everything was great and everything was awesome. And then this person comes back from the past, tempts them, and the other person is like, I'm not going to be part of this mess. I'm out of here. And now this fire sign is like, I bet on the wrong horse. I bet on the wrong horse. And I mentioned that last week, something about betting on the right horse, betting on the wrong horse. I think this fire sign is realizing they bet on the wrong horse or this other sign is saying regarding the fire sign, I bet on the wrong horse and it's the fire sign that was the wrong horse. Okay, so this could work out either way. Guys, remember my readings go both ways. Um, I just I just need to make everybody aware of that. And I don't know why I'm spending so much time on the first reading, but there's a lot of energy coming out here about needing to go back to the past and fix something or looking back on the past and realizing that somebody was wrong or someone was mistaken or something like that. And someone decided to save themselves. Someone decided to um, go their own way. It's like that song. I think it's by Fleetwood Mac. You can go your own way. Okay, so 
that type of energy happening here. It's as though someone knew that they shouldn't have done something that they did and now they're being held to account for it. And the person who is exposing them, I have to be honest with you, the person who is exposing them is going to be lauded as a great investigator or as a great um, a great person who's finally allowing the truth to come out. And guys, this is not hearsay. This is not he said, she said, she said, he said, he said, she said. This is actual documentation that is indicating that um, this absolutely did happen. Here is the proof. Okay, guys, we have got to start looking at the proof of everything. Everything. Okay, because if we don't, if we don't do this, then what does that say about our future? What does that say about a situation where we are entirely innocent and instead of being innocent until proven guilty, we have to prove our innocence? What's that? That's not the way this works, okay? So if you're entirely innocent and then all of a sudden somebody's boss just comes into your office and puts you in handcuffs and says, we're taking you away and you're saying, for what? I didn't do anything wrong. Well, your coworker knows this guy who knows this girl who said this, this guy said that you're guilty of stealing office material. Huh? Remember, everything that happens on the macro will happen on the micro. We have got to be very, very careful about how we move forward with this. Facts only, evidence only, period, the end. Just be aware of that. Someone is absolutely being celebrated here, though. Absolutely being celebrated. Sorry, guys. I absolutely had that extended diatribe on this first week coming up here. And um, I just want you to be aware of that, where someone really needs to look at, you know, what they did in the past in order to be successful in the future. Whatever that means for some of you out there. All right, so let's get into the second reading. This might be a little bit shorter just because I don't want to make this too off, too long at all. Okay, let's. this card just fell out. Oh, look at this. We've got the sun. So we've got the sun. So children might be of great significance here in this upcoming week. Now, this is for the other set of you that this energy is coming through. So children might be of great significance. Horses might be of great significance. I find it so interesting that I said betting on the right horse or betting on the wrong horse. And this horse is very apparent in this card. And it is a white horse. There's something about a cowboy. Cowboys? Something about cowboys is coming up here. Um, or is that his hair? I can't. Oh, that's his blonde hair. There might be somebody with blonde hair that likes horses. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Maybe they're a fire sign. Maybe they're an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, sun, moon, or rising, or something like that. But there's definitely something coming up here regarding this as well. The sunflowers are of great significance. The sunflowers always follow the sun. Okay. Oh, I'm getting something. Hold on. All right. Significant information. Significant information is coming out. Um, I just saw like a bunch of like satellite dishes literally all turning to the same direction. Like all of them were just like, there is something of interest that needs to be communicated and it is big. Okay. So just be aware of that particular type of energy. Okay. Let's keep, let's keep doing this. Wow. Something is going to be illuminated. Huge, huge. Something is going to be illuminated. Okay. All these cards just popped out. Yes. This is the moon reversed. The moon reversed means it cannot be hidden anymore. It is not under the surface anymore. It is out for everybody to see. For a lot of you out there, there is some big secret that is getting revealed either in your life, in your family's life, in um, the life of a friend. Something like that is coming up here. So please be aware of that. This could be... Um, News coming out about a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer person. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, something very, very significant could be happening right after 
um, the new moon or right before the new moon in Capricorn here in this upcoming uh, month. Yes, that's just what I'm getting. So the third card is, whoa, the Knight of Swords reversed. The Knight of Swords reversed is someone that's impetuous, someone that did something foolish, someone that is spreading out information that is false, that is a lie, okay? Always, no matter, no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what anybody says is happening here, you're going to find out that it may not be true. For some of you, it may not be true. For others of you, you already know if it's true or not because you already have the facts in hand, all right? You know if someone is lying to you. So this is this energy coming out. It's almost as though somebody knows that somebody is lying to them, okay? This other energy uh, coming out here is a Gemini, a uh, Libra, or Aquarian person that is not telling the truth. And they were foolish about not telling the truth. This might be this uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra person that needs to go back to the past and fix something before they can move forward, where they had an opportunity to be transparent and they weren't, and now they're being called on the carpet for not being transparent. They, some people might be getting into a little bit of trouble here in this upcoming week. I'm just letting you know. Um, let me see what else I'm getting here. Whoa. Okay. There is something going on where someone is like, I don't know if like maybe at work, maybe like at the water cooler, like there's gossip or something going on. And literally it's like corporate or somebody else comes in and says, you will say nothing regarding this. This topic is done. You cannot say anything about it. You cannot do anything about it. You cannot mention it. It cannot be on the, on, you know, on the edge of your lips, you cannot talk about this at all, okay? Something is coming up here regarding that. So just letting you know that that is definitely coming up here. Whoa, seven of swords reversed. Oh my, somebody's getting caught. Somebody is getting caught and they are being, wow, this energy is kind of intense. They're being exposed like they're being made an example of, okay? So I just want to let you guys know that this week is going to be exposures of more secrets, okay, that are coming out. And it has something to do with someone being very foolish in the past, needing to look at the past, go fix it, whatever. And there's this massive, it's like a, a I'm just seeing, I'm, I'm seeing like when Moses parted the Red Sea type of energy, like literally all the sea was just kind of just all one, right? And then Moses puts the, the, um, his wand down or whatever you want to call it, his walking stick down and boom, it's just like all of a sudden the Red Sea parted. It's like the parting of the Red Sea. It's like you belong over here and you belong over here. You are guilty. You are innocent. This is that type of energy. This is just amazing, amazing energy. I'm going to be really, really curious to see what happens here in the upcoming week. And remember, my readings go out um, about, I would say, at the most three weeks. The energy could last upwards of three weeks. But let's get into the combo read for some of you out there. Some of you might be watching that movie, Moses, like you're watching a movie about parting the Red Sea or Moses or the story of Moses or something like that. I don't know. All right, so that's just what I'm getting. So here we've got this King of Wands with this um, Sun card. So I really feel 
that perhaps for some of the Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo masculines, children are going to be of great significance in your life for whatever reason relative to some sort of a transformation in your life. For others of you out there, maybe you need to get permission from your children or your children need to get permission from you regarding some big change that's happening here. A big purchase is what I am picking up. For others of you out there, this could be where an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo masculine person, now remember, it could, it could be a female or a male, it's just a masculine energy, they are being celebrated for providing a level of independence, okay? Great independence for people, great movement forward, great illumination regarding a situation. So just be aware of that energy. And then for the second set of the combo energy. We do have the Four of Swords with the Moon card reversed. When it is in the Moon card reversed, I am sensing for some people you have to sleep during the day. So you have to sleep when it is not nighttime. Okay, so this is what's coming up. Maybe you're on night shift. Maybe you've got to be on night shift and then you sleep during the day. That could certainly be coming up here. Maybe it's just a change in your lifestyle that you have to make. For others of you out there, there's something about a secret coming out where someone needed to go into hiding, okay, because of deception, betrayal, lies, third-party situations, um, just separations, divorces, whatever. It's like somebody's being sequestered and someone has to like move around at night or they have to keep themselves under the radar is what I'm picking up here. Something about radar could be of great significance. Something about MASH. I don't know if any of you ever watched the show MASH. It was um, a show about, it was during the Korean War, and it was a MASH unit, which is a medical um, ambulatory surgical hospital, basically. And um, as a medical army surgical hospital, is that mobile army surgical? All right, it's something like that. Anyway, something about that, because radar was one of the names of the person that was actually in that show. And the reason why they called him Radar was he could pick up on anything. He was the one in charge of the communications. He was the one that handled everything and he could pick stuff up and he just knew stuff. That is kind of what I'm picking up here. There's some sort of code, some sort of signal, some sort of something like that that's coming through and there's someone that has these radar abilities that's able to translate that information. I know it sounds kind of crazy what I'm picking up here, but for some of you, this is gonna make perfect sense. Then we have the full card with the Knight of Swords in reverse. So basically someone was very foolish and they, someone lied and they were just made a fool of or they were very foolish because they lied, because they were impetuous into a situation that they shouldn't have been impetuous in. They, they lied about a situation in their life in order to manipulate someone, something, or a group of people. And because they do that, and because they did that, now they're feeling very foolish. For some of you out there, this might be um, wanting to take a quick trip, but needing to really check, check, and recheck everything before you go on this trip. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're walking. For some people, you could take a tumble. You could fall. You could hurt yourself. You could bruise your tailbone, um, you know, and then you've got to recover. You know, it's like just pay attention to what you're doing because this energy is coming up. It's almost like your conscience is telling you, I'm I'm right now, I'm giving you information. I'm giving you indications of what's about to happen. So pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to the birds. Pay attention to how people react. Pay attention to how you react to things. Because what you're going to be seeing is that many people are going to be holding that energy and you'll see it all the way across, you know, um, the collective conscious. Okay, so be aware of that. So then what we have here is we have the uh, Six of Wands with the reversed Seven of Swords. When, you, this, when the Seven of Swords is upright, this is someone getting away with something, okay? This is someone not getting away with something. And what's happening here, this person is coming in and they're like, I am here to bear news about the, um, 
the victory of our people, the victory of um, what we have been fighting for, and so on and so forth. And we have exposed people who have been cheating others, who have been manipulating others, who have been stealing from others. This is what is happening here. So be aware that the true warrior for truth, justice, and liberty is winning and is being lauded over this negative, corrupt, stealing, manipulative, coercive energy, okay? And for some, this could be like this, where they these people are being made um, an example in front of other people. Okay, like it's almost like the old days, and I don't want to say this. I just don't want to say this. I just don't want to say this, but I have to say it as an example. Okay, in the old days, in the medieval times, when they needed to show other people who the winning party was, whether it was this this emperor in this kingdom versus this emperor in this kingdom over here or whatever, they would actually hang people, um, enemies, in the courtyards to show other people that don't mess with us. We're not kidding around here. We will exact justice on those that go up against us. Okay, so that could be in a spiritual sense or that could be in a sense of the physical world. That could be where all of a sudden it's like the energy changes and there is a level of accountability that's coming out regardless of, and this is, I was actually having a conversation with somebody last night, a very beautiful, beautiful woman. I would like to her, you know, consider her my friend. I just met her though. And we were talking kind of back and forth about, you know, different cultures and all of this stuff. And we were having the discussion and it was in the end, it was like, it doesn't matter what your color is. It doesn't matter what your sexual proclivity is. It doesn't matter how much money you have or how much money you don't have. It feels as though this energy is changing to if you commit a crime, you will be tried for that crime, regardless regardless of who you are. There's no more being able to say, well, I'm this diplomat or I'm this person or you can't touch me because I'm offended. No, it's not about that. It's, it's as though this energy is coming through where people are just going to be exposed for their irrationality and people are going to be exposed for what they've been getting away with and they will be handled appropriately as best as can be. Okay, in order for justice to be served. I hope that is making sense for people out there. I'm sorry, this one kind of came out a little bit political, but it's just the energy that's happening. So just watch what happens um, around you in this upcoming week. But I do feel it's also very much, um, and what am I saying sorry for? I, no, I'm not sorry. Okay, I'm not sorry because I'm supposed to just, give this information when I get this information. That's what I did it. So some of you know that sometimes politics will come in and sometimes I will not talk about politics at all. Okay, but that is just the general energy of politics. Okay, so what's happening here relative to the love information for all of the beautiful uh, elements. So we're going to start with Earth. Earth, what's going on with you for love? Earth signs with love, what's going on with you? Earth signs, what's going on with you? Earth signs. Pluto. Earth signs, your love life is undergoing a massive, massive change. Um, a massive transformation. Uh, for some of you, there is a level of... Oh, wow, Earth sign. For some of you, you want to get it on. <laughs> <laughs> you really are, um, you're fantasizing about someone. Pluto is the lord of the underworld. So you might want to be, you know, um, maybe you're fantasizing about being with someone you can't be with right now. But for others of you out there, there is a big transformation that's coming up in your life, Earth sign, once Pluto is going to be conjuncting that uh, Saturn. So be aware there is going to be a massive change 
in your love life for some of you. For others of you, it's your identity that's going to be changing, which will actually affect your love life right around January 12th. Okay, a Scorpio person could be of great significance in your life, and they may be affecting your love life as well. I, For some reason, this just popped out. I'm still talking about Earth sign. So family, it might be a family member that is absolutely coming out here as well. Wow. And these other cards popped out Earth sign. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm literally ripping this thing apart. Okay. So um, anyway, you got two more cards, Earth sign. So Capricorn and Venus. So there might be a Capricorn out there that is in love with someone. Okay. Absolutely. Um, it could be another Capricorn. It could be a Venus, Jupiter, uh, Sun, Moon rising in Capricorn. Maybe they're in love with this person. Okay. Um, this could be that the Capricorn is feeling love for someone or someone is feeling love for the Capricorn. Something about family, something about needing to tell a child or tell a family member who's possibly a Scorpio that, hey, look, I'm in love. Or um, something about, um, you know, maybe this child is going to this um, parent and saying, I, I'm really like this guy or I really like this girl and I want to... Um, I want to start dating them, okay? This could also be where the parents are help, helping to set up the child or, you know, maybe the parents are like, you know, maybe our kids should start dating, you know what I mean? Like something like that. There's something about love that is literally circling around a Capricorn person. So just letting you know that, okay? And it might have something to do with a Scorpio person, might have something to do with a Libra or a Taurus as well because we did get Venus, so Libra and Taurus, so that could be a Venus Libra or a Venus Taurus. I find this interesting. I'm a Venus Taurus and I'm a Jupiter Capricorn. <laughs> so it's like, wow, you know, I mean, that's just how these readings come out. But let's move on to the air signs. Earth signs, let me know if that makes sense, please. You guys got a lot of cards. It was for a reason, okay, because normally I only pull one card. So definitely something going on right now in your life regarding that. All right, air signs, what do we got going on with you for love? Air signs, what do we got going on with you for love? Mercury, air signs, you are communicating your love for somebody else. You are letting somebody know you love them. You are letting somebody know you care about them. They're letting you know that they care about you. Um, this could be a Gemini person or a, um, a Virgo person, air sign. So air signs, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Mercury ruled sign, which would be a Gemini or a Virgo person. And right now, Mercury is in, where is Mercury? Wherever Mercury is in right now, I think it's getting ready to ingress or is it in Sag or Capricorn? I think it's in Sag, don't quote me on that, but it could be that as well. Mercury also rules contracts, negotiations, agreements, um, siblings, um, the neighborhood, social media. So something could be going on relative to love in this particular area of your life as well, air signs. Okay, so what do we got going on for the beautiful water signs? Water signs, what's going on with you? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for love. What's going on? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for love. friendship. So Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, you have built a beautiful, loving relationship off of a very strong friendship. Okay. This is gorgeous. Pisces, you may also, Pisces, water sign, you may also um, feel as though a friend is falling in love with you and they want to talk to you about feelings. Okay. For some of you water signs out there, you may have to tell someone, I just want friendship. I'm seeing somebody else. I'm, I'm very happy with the person I'm with and I'm sorry, but I'm taken. Okay. So that could be what's going on for some of you water signs out there. You might be helping a friend to, um, get acquainted with somebody. You might be setting a friend up. A friend might be setting you up. Something like that. That's what this energy is. I just heard for some of you water signs, you're getting the dirt on someone that you're interested in 
or they're getting the dirt on you, or they're finding out more about you in kind of like a deeper dive type of way, okay? For some of you water signs, I feel like you're in this, you've escaped from this cheating, nasty, manipulative, lying energy, third party energy, and now you're with somebody who is very, who celebrates you, you celebrate them, so on and so forth. And it's as though water sign, you're hearing about the misrepresentation, the lies, the coercion, the manipulations, the deceit from that person that you were with before, that you left because you just either felt like something was wrong or you had proof. Now you're just getting more proof. So that's going on for some of you out there. All right, fire signs. What do we got going on for your love life, fire signs? What's going on with your love life? What's going on with the love life for fire signs? Aquarius. So fire signs, you have an Aquarius person that is affecting your life for whatever reason. Um, this could also be just Aquarian energy. We do have uh, Pluto and Saturn approaching Aquarius. So there could be something going on here, fire sign, in um, this upcoming month where because they're getting closer and closer to the sign of Aquarius, you're going to see just a little bit more energy being put on the friendship circles, uh, networks, associations, hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals, fire sign. So something is coming up about the 11th house with Aquarius. You could be interested in Aquarius. Aquarius could be interested in you. But the thing about it is it feels to me, fire sign, like it's the 11th house energy that's being affected in your life right now. Hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. Something about that energy is bringing in a lot of love or you are bringing a lot of love into that particular type of an environment. All right, guys, there is the reading for this upcoming week. Again, yes, it got political, but what do you do when that's what comes in? So that's what happened. I wish all of you the best, and I'm, I'm truly excited to see your comments below. I absolutely adore when you engage in a rational way with this particular type of a reading. It really, really does assist me in knowing if I'm getting confirmations about the types of energies that I'm pulling in around this collective consciousness. I do wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.